Good afternoon, and we are back at the Bigerton Grace Gallery with the wonderful Lily. Hi, I'm me. Hi, love to be back. <laughs> love it here. So she's no stranger to the Bigerton Grace Gallery, exhibited here twice already. Yes. Um, and actually, the third exhibition is coming up. It is. We're it going is. We're going to talk about that. Yes, very excited about that. So Lily is here because she is our artist in the spotlight, our sixth artist in the spotlight this year. <laughs> so it's really exciting. And the reason, again, I will just reiterate this, is because we want people to understand the artist, to know their background, what makes them tick, and how they get to create these pieces and what that really means. So the journey yes. of your art. So we are going to do a little quick, quick background of you to now. Right. Go. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Where did it begin? <laughs> um, I started um, painting, well, drawing when I was very young. Yeah. So um, I, I, I was brought up by very creative uh, parents. Yeah. So my mum has always been really pushing me into, not pushing me, she would always encourage, that's the right Which word. Which is wonderful. Encourage me to express my creativity. Yeah, and my father's a very creative yeah. uh, um, person as well. So I would draw from being very, very young, these um, almost elfin, angel-like figures, which is very odd for a five-year-old to be drawing. I've actually still got those original um, pictures. My mum kept them. Yes, I'll bring them. I'll bring them. Um, and that over the years, through life experience and mm. just through really submerging yourself and and just exploring um, different mediums yeah. and 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 with life experience things. It develop, change, evolve into something greater, which they have when I started yeah. actually using canvas paints. When um, did it start? Properly start? When did you think this is what I'm actually going to do? In my, I would say in my early 20s, so over tw 20, <laughs> 27 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Still very young. Um, and then was that a very easy transition? Did you have a lot of support at that time? At the time, uh, no because of life, what was happening in my life at the time. And it was almost, a f not a fight, but it was met with negativity from the people around me. Um, as in, um, you know, why are you bothering doing this? You're wasting your time. Um, so it was just my way of sort of locking myself away from what was happening in my life at the time and just uh, pouring it all out in a creative way instead of bottling it all up. And what would come out would be quite so it was your therapy? It was, it was my therapy, 100% my therapy, and um, it absolutely helped with my, my mental is health issues that I was going through at the time. Yeah. Um, and from being, when I was in that very toxic environment with the modelling when I was very mm. young, um, it definitely helped me through that, 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 yeah. that and did, negative time. And did everybody know that you were going through such a hard time, do you think, or were you really hiding I it? I was very good at hiding it. Mm. Um, I, you know, it was, yeah, I kind of cocoon myself away, um, which I think a lot of people do, uh, and everything's shiny and happy on the outside, mm. where inside you, you're just breaking up. Um, and you, you had another business going at the same time as well, you know, with, with styling, with hair. Yes, you know, So you yes. were in the very creative industry anyway. Yes, yes. I, I went from, from the modelling into um, hair and um, colour technician and... Um, that actually did help massively mm. uh, from going into an industry where you're not talked to, you're talked about right yeah. in front of you and you're just mm. an object. So actually into an industry where you make women feel beautiful. Yeah. So it was really a nice, it really helped my, you know, me develop as a woman yeah. and all the, the crushing self-hatred that you feel not to be dramatic but you do yeah. everyone thinks well, if you do modeling that you love yourself and it's mm. like absolutely it's the polar opposite of that and it gives you some very latent issues of like you know your eating habits and things like that and trying to keep that going you know keep yeah. that kind of up and, and knowing that this is your tool and you've got to look after it yeah pressure pressure massive pressure yeah. so your style is very feminine based isn't yes. it i mean i know yes. you do do the male side but what i know and love of you are these beautiful female forms you know the ethereal kind yeah. of shapes and textures yes i love them. oh texture. your textures that's, are phenomenal that's um, what i definitely developed over the years yeah um which um again was just through experimentation and just whatever was guiding me to to try that and just yeah. just beef it up like really meet it up and really <laughs> get that because all my work is to do with energy yeah. and to do with an inner 
energy. I am a big old hippie. I believe in so much, you know, that that mm. is. It can be, you know, it's so powerful. And that I wanted to get that dynamic yeah. on the canvas in the best possible way that I could that would be the most impactful yeah. and be visually um, just beautiful. Yeah. Something just that actually almost draws you in and is calming to look at and is something that's mm. I mean, even enhances. in the title, the title, The Essence of Woman, yeah. which are the two behind us right now, I mean, that says everything. And I mean, this... This one here, I have to say, <laughs> it's, it's always been one of my favourites. This one and the gold. Yes, yeah. Just beautiful. Yeah. But I think these, again, have to be seen yes. because of the textures. Yes. And what we will try and show over the week, because you are artist in the spotlight, <laughs> what we um, want to show over the week is a bit of an insight into yeah. that. So we'll show a bit maybe of you creating and, and a close-up mm -hmm. of exactly that, because then that's a greater understanding, yes, you know, yeah. of what you're creating as well. And people can appreciate it yes. in a different way. And they are phenomenal. I mean, the sizes, um, they're just beautiful pieces. The framing, everything about them, right down to the finest detail, is total quality class. It is you. <laughs> it is totally so you on the canvas. <laughs> but it really is. I mean, yeah, like I said. I get I so much, I get so much just pleasure and, mm -hmm. and happiness, which every artist does. Mm -hmm. And it's, you, you can't really fully put it into words, how amazing it feels when something's finished and yeah. it's, you put everything that you've got into that piece. And it was, I was saying to T before, it, you know, I can have a painting that's sat there for two years and, I'm, and I've moved away from it because it's just not right. But mm -hmm. I, I don't, but then it, all of a sudden I think. You mean one that you've been working on yeah. and walked away from? Wow. Yeah. Okay. I, I, you know, I will, I'm that particular, it has to be just, and when people often ask, how do you know it's finished? Mm, big question. You don't, it's something inside yeah, you, you just feeling. go, a feeling mm. that you go, you step back and you're like, oh. Sometimes someone else has to tell you. They have yeah. to say to you, actually, you know. <laughs> Stop <laughs> baffing. <laughs> Walk away, it's done, it's done. And other people maybe can see that more than you. Yeah. But to go back to a painting must be quite tricky. Because it's got to that stage where it's dried and everything yeah. is set. Because, well, because I use a lot it. of oils as well. Yeah. So I don't, and I don't use accelerants. I don't use, mm. for that reason, but also I do find that personally, because I like, um, I, I mean, with the up and coming show, you'll see there's a lot yeah. more vibrant colours coming as well. It, for me, it kind of dulls the colour that little bit. So I like that real pop. Yeah, mm. and they do really pop. Yeah. So the exhibition. Yes. Very exciting. 20th of April, yes. we will be exhibiting. You're going to again be exhibiting alongside Robert, Robert Grace. Yeah, Robert Grace the, again. The union, the I think, of the pieces is quite special because, yes. you know, we've got the crystals, the gold, the baths, the, yes. the pieces, yes. which just go hand in hand with yours. It really you know, does. Very we, were, we were shocked last time, weren't yeah. we, when we put the whole show together and it was mm. like, wow. It was like, they just... Symbiosis. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just went so well together. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is going to be quite an event as well. We've got yes. live music, you know, some crazy, amazing people coming along to this one. You we're must see come because it's going it. to be super great and super fun. And how ready are you? I am ready, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You're there. I am very excited. It's I'm still working on some pieces, so mm. you know, um, but yeah, the body of work is there. Yeah. Um, which I'm very, very proud of. We've gone more bold colours mm. and I'm think, feeling like, yeah. I got really. a sneak peek. Yes. And it is pretty special. The colours are just bonkers and yeah. beautiful. Bonkers is one of my favourite words, it, actually, but it really describes it. Yeah. They're just Because, I mean, I love my, my, the more, the obviously, there is going to be still some of the nuder palettes. Yeah. But when I did my um, uh, term in New York back in 2019, and I did five weeks painting at a gallery in uh, Tribeca. And I thought, because A, I was absolutely pooping myself because I thought, if I turn up and I've just got complete painter's block, I'm like, oh, what am I going to do? Just have a canvas and put a dot on it and say, that's the universe <laughs> as we see it. I had a plan. And then I thought, no, right. And, and, but when I was there, because of the energy of the place as well, it's New York, mm. it's amazing. And all these other artists around, it was fantastic. And I just, I went to the uh, Bricks, which is the art supplies there. And I just bought completely different colours that I never used before. Wow. And I just went to town, just experimenting with the 
uh, oranges and blues and yellow and Persian yellow. And I was like, wow. And so I brought that back and I've been creating with, with these kind of colours since as so well. So you were doing live art? You were creating and people were just wandering yeah, around or, you for how long? A week? And... It, I was there for nearly two months. Wow. Every day just going Every in? Every day, seven days in. a week. They, they actually gave me a key. So I used, to, like, I used to be the last one in there because it was like you had your own pot. It was brilliant. It was oh. such a really cool concept. Not as cool as here. <laughs> Maybe we should do uh, that yeah. here. Yeah. And, it was, and, idea. and it was literally, I just submerged myself for the entire time. Um, I, I, I rented an apartment over in Hoboken. So my morning was get up, I went to yoga. And then the and then I get the ferry over. That was my little oh, treat because nice. it's so cool, you know, to see that skyline. And I did a, um, a beautiful abstract of the New York sites, um, wow. scape, which I'll show you. It sold when I was there, but um, it was. Wow. And I'd go every single day, and I would just be there for the whole day till till it well till the last ferry, which was about 10, 30, 11 p.m. Amazing experience. And then it was a show at the end of it. So it was really cool. So you're exhibiting in America, yeah, in New York. Mm -hmm. Is it New York? What was the name of the gallery? It was the NYA, NYA. The New York Art Gallery. So are you still in that one, or you? I'm still. I'm, I still have. I'm still on with them. Yeah. Um. And, and obviously with lockdown, I, I didn't get to go back. Yeah. But um, they're still there. So is there <laughs> anywhere else that people will have seen your art? Um. I have a, a, another gallery in Madrid oh, called the, right. the Van Gogh Gallery. <sighs> Yeah, I know, right. <laughs> Keeping good company. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then with them, um, again, before the lockdowns, I exhibited in Salzburg, Luxembourg, the box in Luxembourg and in Monaco. So that was um, really cool. Um, and that was more of the pure abstract stuff. And that was... Um, how did you get around to all these places? Did someone find you? Did you find them? Do you know, it was on Instagram. Wow. When I, when I started, it, amazing. Yeah. I, and I, when I really, it was, it was with the whole, like when people say, oh, what would your advice be to an artist to promote? It's just yeah. self-promotion. Literally, you have to look at it. Yeah. You know, you can do this as because you, you love it and you love your art and you love to create. But if you want to take it further as a career, you need to get seen. You need to put yourself out there, which yeah. is scary as an artist because it's from our soul. Mm. You know, you, you, it's, and if someone doesn't like it, you take, you like, you want to kill yourself. <laughs> like, ah. But you know, you have to. You're gonna get nose. Art, art is marmite. Yeah. One person's gonna love yeah. it, and it's not someone else's cup of tea. But you have to take the nose. As I like to say, a no is a delayed yes. It's as simple as that. Because <laughs> someone's going to love it. Yeah. Someone's not gonna like it. Someone's gonna love it. Yeah. Um, and it is get that little bit thicker skin, basically. And the older I get, the thicker the skin. But not in a negative way, you know. I'm just like, oh well, you know. Just don't listen. Just you, you <laughs> don't just, listen. You, you, can't, just keep you can't. You can't please everybody. It's as simple as that. And, and you never you, will. And if you try you to, will. then you, you're actually deviating away from being an artist because you, as an artist, is, you, is what you do is you. Mm. So you can't really. Oh, what? What's? Um, I've got to paint to please everyone. You, you can't. Um, but then when I started. I started a business Instagram and I, I remember it was three weeks before Christmas and um, I was just posting a little bit every day and then within like eight days I had a thousand followers. Oh I was like, <gasps> but it was just consi as well yeah, then, consistency like, oh, as well. You. But And I would never really put anything too personal. Mm -hmm. It would be all my art, all art based, mm -hmm. uh, not what I had for breakfast, or an avocado stack, nothing like that. <laughs> but it would, and that's what, and then I got approached by um, galleries over time. Yeah. And it's up to you as well to chase them mm. as well, as in, you know, don't be like, oh, you know, that's not. I mean, you get, you do get approached by um, nuisance sometimes, yeah, you know, not, not real. It's but it's also it. taking that leap of faith and, and taking that, like, rocking up to New York on my own, mm. like, Very hi. Very <laughs> Um, but, but worth it. I mean, look what so happened. So worth Amazing. it, and it was really, really good. I just wanted to mention experience. as well while you're talking, it just spurred a memory because you said about the, the the landscape that you did uh -huh. basically when you were there painting. Yeah. I mean, your your figures we we know these they're so beautiful, but your landscapes are so stunning. The, uh, that's an, uh, the um, 
the Elements collection. So mm. I have six collections. The Essence of Woman is, is the primary, definitely. Yeah. Primary. But I also like the Essence of Man. The unity of one is beautiful. Yeah. That's with the man and woman together. That connection, that lovely mm. unity of, of love. Um, oh, and the, the Twin Moons. The and Twin Moons, yeah. again. Again, connected. it's all very connected, mm. all six collections. Because with the twin moons, because I'm again, like I said before, a big old hippie, and I do believe in the power of like the moon cycles and it's the, the energy that that brings us, and, and how we're actually governed quite highly by the moon itself. And, yeah. But that's I just when I was in um, and I lived in Japan when I was younger as well, mm. and it was some of those twin moons are very inspired by the Japanese inks. Yeah. So again, everything through life ah, experiences absolutely. that are drawn from different. Um, places mm -hmm. and then there's the, the elements collection which is the seascapes mm -hmm. and the one piece of it was the only piece i've done which i do want to do more of these scapes in the future spoiler mm -hmm. um <laughs> <laughs> but it was it just it it's just a spoiler, was, it's a tease it's a tease yeah uh, it was because what, what i saw every morning on such a wonderful journey into the to the gallery was yeah. i've got to paint it yeah. i had to paint it so. and it's part of your story yeah part of the story um, the sentiment collection which we were so grateful that you were part of it's such a, a fantastic but again it kind thing of to be part of suits, with all these amazing artists teabing <laughs> but it suits what you've just been talking about yeah. as well because you know with the connection and yeah. the, that beautiful way that we've all come together through that collection has been amazing and actually at, when we have the exhibition some of your pieces will be there the little sentiment mm -hmm. pieces so people can see them they can own one of those so you know if they're not going to go big they can go small exactly and that's so from that's um, the, the, my favorite twin moon as well and that's, from that's twin what moons, yeah, yeah that's uh, twin moon five which is just gorgeous I love that piece love. yeah so then going back to the week you are our artist in the spotlight this week so, <laughs> so we will be using that time as best we can to create yes. your story and to show the details the beautiful details and get like i said get people to understand you a little bit more mm -hmm. so we'll also be touching base with you talking to you um yeah Perfect. and leading leading people to this Great understanding. Yes. And then towards the 20th of April. Oh, yes. Where you can come and meet Get it Lisa in the diary. And, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and all the other fantastic artists as well that are coming. Yeah, absolutely. Part of the family. So Lily also has a page on the website, um, which is bigtongracegallery.com. You can just Google, uh, search for her and see a little bit about her there. And the artwork, which is in your personal gallery on your page. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and also just get in contact with us if you need to know any more. But for now... We're going to leave it there yes. because it isn't the end. It's the beginning of your week. <laughs> so we will be feeding with lots of information. And yeah, we look forward to, well, we look forward to April. Yeah, me too. Can't but to wait. also learning a bit more about you is what I was trying oh, to say. Thank you. So thank you for coming in again. Oh, no, again. it's always such a pleasure. I love it. I love your hands are freezing, by the way. I know. <laughs> and we will Cold hands, warm hearts. <laughs> with you always. Take care. Bye.